welcome to Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay. I'm Chris. That's Deb. We've never been here before, so we're inviting you to come along. Looks like they have walking trails to around the park. That's kind of cool. Uh -huh. Where you might see animals. Yeah, and burn some calories while you're at it. Brought to you by Tampa General Hospital. Is that where Kristen used to work? Yes. Yeah. I think that's where Kristen used to work. And our our friend Mark likes to fly helicopters there. Uh -huh. I'm digging this music. Let's look at the birds. Sure. Ooh. There's one right there. Oh, there is. I just saw that one over there. It's like there's two right there. They're waiting for feeding time. So 2.30, we could come back here and ask the keeper, has an alligator ever been struck by lightning? Oh my God, no, we're not back to that early. <laughs> <laughs> On our drive here, we had a discussion about alligators getting struck by lightning. What would happen to them? Do they die? Does the lightning kind of deflect because of how thick their skin is? And so Chris is clearly the only person who ever wanted to know the answer to that question because it's right. the one thing I have never been able, I wasn't able to find on the internet. You can find everything on the internet. Yeah. Look for Google, not there. No. Maybe that's where they get the... Because uh, nobody wants to know that except you. Maybe that's where they get the gator bite. Oh found, my god. Found a lick. Like, I think she's done. Are we going in? Let's go in. Let's okay. go into the Moambi Reserve. Moambi Consult people, non-profit agencies, corporations, and governments are working together to ensure chimpanzees and other primates don't disappear from our planet. Now I know why they're sitting by the waterfall. There's a nice breeze coming off the This is what we do. We pick our nose. They have a Molarama here. You can get a gorilla for only four bucks. I've seen two so far. What's that? I said there's probably more than just two, but I've seen two so far. Oh, the damn humans are here. Uh, Monkey butt. I think that's their polite way of saying go away. I think it's a polite way of saying Woman, leave me alone. I want my space.
are working. Yay! Just kidding, they're real. <laughs> but here towards the left we have the small tiny brown and colors. Even though these were not made by Chevy, they're the third fastest animal in the whole wide world. I like to call them the fashionistas of the Serengeti belt because if you look closely it looks like they were wearing makeup and high heels. Fierce. <laughs> also right after the impalas we have the reticulated giraffes they're not very fond of water, but whenever feeling threatened or in danger, they run into the water for safe keeping. These are the defossil water box. So right behind the stable antelope, we have the, a crash or herd of napping white rhinos. White rhinos can grow to be around 6,000 pounds. They can run up to speeds up to around 32 miles per hour. They'll be on our right, or if you're looking backwards towards the left, right behind the stables. A rhino's horn is not made out of skull or bones, but it's actually made out of keratin. Do you know what's also made out of keratin? Your hair and your fingernails. So I don't understand why the bad guys, they can't just go to CVS or Walgreens, buy some leaf rice on nails for $5, and therefore we can save the rhinos and save, and save the planet. Y'all are welcome, call me Captain Planet, because I just saved the world. And both the male and female of the species have those really large horns. The female's horns grow up to six feet in length, and the male's horns grow up to eight feet in length. Now they are considered sacred, so people don't slaughter them over in Africa, they actually use them for their milk. And the more you have in a tribe or as an individual, the wealthier you are. To the left, we have two other species out there. The ones with the stripes that go all the way around their bodies, those are known as the Grant's Zebra. The Grant's Zebra is the smaller of our two species and have those big bold stripes which are not black ladies and gentlemen they're actually dark brown that's right zebra are not black and white they are dark brown and white you can usually tell because when they're younger they have a light brown color to them those are known as the wildebeest the wildebeest have been known to travel in a herd of up to one million strong in something called the great migration which can kick up a dust cloud so large it can be seen from the international space station on the hill to the left hand side we have a bunch of other animals out there including the Grevy Zebra, which is the other striped creature, the reticulated giraffe, which is the tall, long-necked creature, and the tiny tan one staring right at you. That is an impala, folks. Oh, they're a female ranger. Now, folks, we are entering the Nairobi train station, so please collect all personal belongings and all children. I'm walking like I know where I'm going. And I really don't. Oh look, there's a cheetah. Back in his cage. Or one back in his cage. Yeah. Can't say I blame him. You humans are crazy out there in that sun. Cheetah. What the hell are you swimming for? make a stop into the Serengeti Overlook. Soak up some AC, get a drink, and overlook the Serengeti. Checking out the Giraffe Bar, which I think just opened. They have some frozen specialty, frozen specialty cocktails, some local giraffe beers. To graze, we have smoked beef brisket, a giraffe shaped pretzel, ooh, uh -huh. loaded hummus, no thank you, and handcrafted cocktails on tap. Look at that little sipper cup. Is that not the cutest little thing? 
Pippins can hold their breath for a very long time. Look at all those fish eating off its back. There you go. Got some air. Now back under here. It's a big crop, isn't it? Find. A lion or a hyena? I think it's hyena. hyena. Like it's showing its bits over there to the people in the glass. It's quite comfy. It is, isn't it? Uh -huh. It's a spotted hyena. It's like, can't you people just go away and leave me alone? Sleeps like our dog. Do you see him? <laughs> Sleeps by himself. There's no lioness. The lions are mostly nocturnal. Sleep during the day and go hunting at night. Check out the giraffe. That must be a baby. Little one? Yeah. I do love the fact the giraffe's staying right here because then they're going to get fed. Yeah. There's the Serengeti tour bus. Their animatronics look so lifelike. Do they? This is the male. And down here is the female. I feel like for as heavy as they look, they should have thicker legs. Uh oh. We are not recording that. Just know that a lot of people need some private time. Eh, she's not interested. She's not having it. I know the feeling, dude. Really? <laughs> Why are we always seeing the elephants back, Sam? So we're at the back of the Serengeti. We got a cheese flatbread. You can have a big piece, I'll take Water. And a margarita. spicy margarita. It is delicious. I have to say, this is a very pretty park. It is. Compared to the water park yesterday, this is gorgeous. We've managed to stay busy even though we've only like ridden zero roller coasters. <laughs> we'll get there. So since there's lightning in the area, everything's shut down for now. The damn bells ringing. I'm gonna call this the end of part one. So, join us for part two next week. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah. It's starting to rain. Sure is. So, thanks for watching.
watching. You know, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And now for something completely different. Bye. Today's episode brought to you by Brazil's Waxing Center. It's smooth.